We're all done. Yay. <laughs> One chapter done. I can't believe how fast it went. Yeah. Takes some labor. A lot of people are still here, surprisingly. One. Two people's left. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're number three. <laughs> we're leaving. Bye. Bye. Rusty. Rusty. Buddy. Rusty. Look at the camera. Over here. Boop, 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 Action. boop, boop, boop. And, <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> okay. We completed our two seasonal jobs, uh, the potatoes and the, and the beets, and we left today. We're back on the road. Um, don't really have a destination in mind this shit. Well, we kind of do. We've got a destination, but we don't really have a route in mind is what I meant to say. Right now, we're, um, we just, we're trying to go, I don't know, Two, three hundred miles. We just we just uh, left the campground today that the bee harvest provided for us, and we decided to go at least two or three hundred miles because some cold weather's coming in. Actually, tonight it's going to get down the twenties and stay in the twenties, and they're calling for snow. And we got enough of that last year. I'm not trying to be around here for that. But uh, it's been beautiful, perfect weather for the harvest, and everything went smoothly. And we got done super quick, so we're we're getting out of Dodge. <clears throat> but right now, just for the night, we're going to boondock at a Walmart. Uh, like I said, we're just trying to get south pretty good ways. Hopefully, get below that uh, that weather that's coming in. And then, uh, then I, you know, probably starting tomorrow, we're just going to just try to take a metal pace. Uh, never, like I said, really nothing in mind. We got a certain destination. We got an idea where we want to be in a few months so you know no big hurry actually we're just going to she's going to go visit some of her family we're just going to see them but no big hurry to get there and really no certain route we're going to take but anyway we're back on the road road trips begin again uh, right now we're just like i said sitting at a walmart boondocking and we actually been here before I've, I pretty much stop here every time. That's our little curtain. I just got open let some sun in. But the old Walmart's got a pretty good view. And as you can see, it's super windy today. That's the reason I'm sitting inside. We, uh, man, we fought this wind getting down here. I thought I made a mistake. It's 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 blowing. It's got like gusts of 45, 50. But uh, we're here now, so we're gonna spend the night here in this Walmart. This is the one we just stayed at coming up not too long ago and actually every year I usually stop here to resupply before I get up to the job because there's where well, the jobs at there's really you know there isn't no Walmart or anything like that but a good friend of ours at the sugar beet got us this 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 little guy's pretty cool hey get up here too late today to be going to bed there we go ain't he creepy looking but he's pretty cool I I like him uh, girl we work with at the beats uh, super nice girl i uh, really like her i enjoy getting to come back and see her uh, got us that for a little gift a little going away gift little guy's pretty cool we're going to leave him well, we're going to try to take him places and get pictures with him you know like little cool areas like grand canyon or something like that but anyway that's a whole different story no russ he's doing pretty good he's just down here on the floor taking it easy um He's, he's, a, he's a good dog. He's pretty mellow. He don't ask for much. Just some food and a place to sleep. He's pretty happy. We took him out some today trying to enjoy some of the sunshine. It's just it's just too daggum windy. You can't even stand up out there. But I'm probably going to get him out again later. Rusty, are you even alive? Oh, there he goes. His tail's moving. I was wondering if he's even alive. The only thing I don't like about travel days is the old camper gets, it, I don't know, it just gets so unorganized. You gotta put things here and put things there to keep it from falling. Um, well, like our, I hate to show you, but like our kitchen sink becomes storage for all of our, you know, stuff that's normally sitting around the stove or whatever, spices and cooking spray and whatnot. Um, 
yeah it just becomes a big disarray and that's our little catch-all you know got a few spices down there that we use a lot so we just leave them there where they're easy to get some little mixed drinks as you put in water you know just random things you use every day we keep right there but but it's just it gets so unorganized and I don't know how I even got off on that but anyway we can start marking our calendar again I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not I said calendar but map yeah let me stand up that old sun's glaring on it look out Russ don't step on your head here buddy this is a cheap way we keep track of our travels this is just a little cheap map of the United States and everywhere we go we just draw a line we don't cover up the whole state we just draw a line kind of through the area we went to and actually this was last year's trip we left sugar beets well actually we left Kentucky went to sugar beets come back down then we went down to Florida and messed around for a while if y'all remember that then we came along the coast and we went out to California sequoias and you know did some sightseeing around there and come back through and we went up to Illinois this year we started this line we we went up this way to the beats and we're gonna start drawing a line back down we're going south but I ain't gonna tell you where not even gonna point at it but I'll give you a hint we're gonna be coming probably right through here and then the rest you just have to wait anyway let me pause this yeah the old, the old RV's in the wreck and that's that's an old cover we threw on the couch for old, old rust there he sheds like a dirty old rug so we gotta keep a old blanket on there for him but that's okay he's, he's our our buddy we don't care but I'm gonna pause this and uh, we'll come back later well we had to change spots this night where we slept because we was at the Walmart and uh it started to get a little sketchy. There was a lot of precarious, precarious people walking around. So we moved across town to the old Chiflain J. And yes, gas is a dollar ninety-five here. But anyway, we're fixing to get on the road. Headed on. Go find go ahead to our next camp spot. Well, we took off this morning, but we had to pull over. The winds are insane. So we're at this rest area. Um, probably just gonna camp here tonight. There's a there's just two windy drive. Pretty nice here. Watertown, South Dakota. Prices are affordable. Two dollars. They're older machines, but they look maintained for a double load. And then we also have, uh, I think this is a triple load. We got one here for two fifty, and then we have a quad load on the other side for uh, four fifty. And they got tons of dryers. That whole back wall is dryers. And a bonus. While you're waiting on your laundry, you can go through that door there and gamble all your money away. <laughs> it's a casino. Yeah, but it's... And go through that door over there and car wash. Oh yeah, car wash and a pet wash. I think it's really cool. It's all the same building. Pet wash, car wash, laundromat, casino, liquor store. You could spend all day here, okay? This is an adult here. I think I heard the liquor store three times already. <laughs> but it's a small... Well, actually it's not a small town, is it? It's a pretty decent it's sized town. 20, and it has a Walmart, part store, oh, there's O'Reilly's, restaurant, Starbucks. It has about everything you need. Plenty of RV parking. Obviously, that's us right there. Plenty of RV parking. Easy in, easy out. Yep. Right off of what highway are you on? I don't know. That I really don't know. 
We come down Interstate 29, get off the exit, and this is like a mile, 1.8 miles inside of town. But it's, it's not like downtown Chicago. It's just that street right there. So it's easy to come down through here. Yeah. So we're gonna sit here and spend our life savings cleaning all her dirty drawers, <laughs> and then we're moving on. What are we doing? Where are we at? Why are we here? And how come? It's cold and windy. It's cold and windy, but it's sunny. We're at Sioux Falls. Falls. Actual Fall Falls. Sioux Falls Falls. <laughs> the park. And we're already tired of the cold, so we're going to head somewhere warm. Somewhere not cold. <laughs> but we want to stop here first because she already planned it, so here we are. It's not that bad, actually. Yeah, taken out by <laughs> old man on a bicycle. Yeah, he's down for fun. Actually, you, you saw snow this morning, though. Yeah, it's it's actually sunny. If the wind wasn't blowing, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, it snowed this morning. We stayed at Walmart. I don't know if I showed you. I know you just disappointed on that, but I got up. I don't know, four, three, four, something like that. But anyway, it was snowing. That's all I know. It was snowing. But yeah, Rusty's gonna. Sniff a light pole, and I'm gonna go find me a restroom. Thanks for pointing it out. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for pointing it out. Yeah. We came to our parking spot for the night. Oh. Do what? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is our going to be our parking spot for the night. This is the city of Vermilion in South Dakota. Free camping. Uh, it's got one, two, or three, four, five. Looks like five spots with electricity. Some water right there. Restrooms, but. The restrooms are closed for the winter right now. This is going towards the end of October and they're closed. They're not open. 
That's a city park. Main highway or street, whatever you want to call it right there. So there's traffic noise at the moment. Should die down tonight. Um, has 30 and 50 amp and 110 amp electricity. I think tonight, we try to stay here once at four. And for some reason our camper don't work on this electric. Uh, I think it's wired different something, but it won't let ours work. It kicks it out. So I'm gonna run a 110 cord to this door. Put our space heater in there, just like that. That'll work just fine. Yeah. What's the name of this park? Lion. Uh, Lion Park. Lion. <laughs> Should be Lion. No. Lion. Oh. Uh, there's a big sign right there. It's a Lion Park in Vermilion, uh, South Dakota. And we're at the <laughs> South Dakota National Garden. <laughs> Quit being childish. Okay. <laughs>